All right, fellas, it's time. It's time to start building this boat. You've seen me run these long tail motors and they're really not compatible with American John boats. The John boat's the closest thing that we come to a sandpan, which are kind of like canoe shaped John boats. They have a lot lower freeboard. They would never pass like marine police inspection or coast guard inspection from a home built boat over here. So the best thing we can do is get, um, is, is a John boat. The problem is, the benches are way in the wrong place. The transom's turned the wrong way. If you see this transom, it is tilted backward. That is to accommodate traditional outboards that are here and completely hang off the entire back of the engine. If the transom were plumb, you would always have that engine banging up against the boat, and that's not good, that's not healthy. That you'll damage the boat. But in this type of boat, this type of motor, the propeller's seven feet behind the boat, so we don't need this tilt. This whole motor sits here. It's really too far back. It sets the ballast of the boat off. Okay, so I'm sitting here in this chair. The handle only comes to about here. So I'm reaching back and this big bench is just in the way. If I sit in the bench, that puts way too much weight back in the boat. If this transom were tilted forward as much as it's tilted back, it would solve all that. And especially if you move this bench out of the way. The truth be told is this this boat is designed for traditional American style outboards, not Asian um, long tail style out, out, off, uh, outboards. That's what I want to do. It's called Project Mud Boat. Okay, so the goal of Project Mud Boat is so that anybody who wants to have one of these long tails or even a surface drive or a beaver tail can build their own boat to their own specifications to meet their own needs using simple, mostly simple hardware that you can get from Home Depot or Lowe's or one of these sorts of places, uh, with the exception of having to buy fiberglass cloth and epoxy from boat building suppliers. I've built boats before, I've done pretty well. I built a P-Row back in 2007. A lot of people have bought these mud motors because of seeing me actually run around the river with these things. They buy one, they're excited, they get it, they get a little John boat like this, and then they put it up together. And then they, one thing they always ask me, hey, is this boat just hard to control to you? Or First of all, it does take some time to get used to a motor like this. The, one of the problems is the boat itself gets in the way because the bench is too far back. That puts way too much weight in the back of the boat. That makes the back end of the boat sink down further in the water and that does make it hard to control, but that's because the boat's not ballasted properly. You move it forward, you get weight toward the front of the boat, it planes out well, but that you have to compromise the comfort because you're always having to keep your arm way stretched down and at this weird angle, your elbow's sore, your shoulder's sore. And it's because the boat itself is really the problem. It's not the motor, right? And so since these John boats are so stinking easy to build, why not just build one better suited for the purpose? It's this book here by Jim Michalak. I guess that's how you pronounce his name. Boat Building for Beginners and Beyond. He has an actual John boat here. There's a full set of line drawings in here, you know, I mean, all right. We won't build exactly this boat because we're going to have to change it to suit my needs. But we can also use the measurements from this boat. We're going to develop a set of plans or a set of building procedures. I know a lot of you are willing to wanting to watch the video, but we got to come up with the money to do it. I'm gonna, I have a few, a little bit of money on my own, but what I want to do is to do this the way I did you know, the hot rod, but back when I built my Predator, I had raised some funds and a lot of you guys contributed. I want to do the same sort of thing here so that you guys can get your, uh, become a part of the project itself. I'm going to start out with a sort of a pre-launch of the thing. You can donate and get a reward. I have a $5, $10, $25, $50, $100, and a $200 level all on the website. Go check that out. I'll put links and things like that around. And eventually, if you get onto the higher levels, you'll get your, if you actually want to get your name actually epoxied into the boat for people to see either your name or your YouTube handle, you can do that sort of thing. So just go check those out. And so that is open for pre-launch now. We're going to try to raise money, a little bit of money on the website first to just see how you guys are interested. And then we can go to uh, Indiegogo when, when the time is right. Let me know what you think. And uh, I will talk to you later. See you.